Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create 3D sphere in Inkscape. If you have not installed the free open source Inkscape, you can do so by following my video on how to install Inkscape or go to my channel do it. Eight. Let's start your Inkscape software. Your main screen will have page border to work with. For this tutorial I'll remove the page border so that I have the space to work with. To remove page border, go to File, Document Properties or Shift Ctrl D. Under Page tab, uncheck Show Page Border check box. Close the pop-up window. Now you have the whole canvas to work with. If you need to enable the page border, you can follow the same steps again. To draw our 3D sphere, first we will click the circle tool or F5 on your keyboard. Move your cursor to the canvas. Left click mouse button to draw circle. As you can see, you will be able to draw different kind of circle shape with this tool. To draw a perfect circle, left click mouse button while holding the control key on the keyboard. Once you got the right shape and size, release the control key and mouse click. Now you can select your color for your circle. Go to the bottom color palette to select your color. For this I'll select a lighter shade color first. This lighter color will be the reflecting color of the sphere. The circle have a black border which we will remove. Go to the stroke selection at the bottom left of the status bar. Right click on the mouse button to bring up the pop up menu. Select remove stroke from the menu. Now the black border is gone. Now click on the create and edit gradient tool or control F1. Then select the create radial gradient at the control bar at the top left. Bring your cursor to where you want the reflection to be on the circle. Left click the mouse button and drag to create the effect that you like. When you select the knot it will turn blue. With the middle selected knot you can reposition the reflection to any part of the circle. Both of the end knot is to change the shape, size and orientation of the reflection. With the outer knot selected, we will now change the color of the sphere. Select the color from the color palette at the bottom. The sphere now look perfect. Now we are going to add shadow at the bottom of the sphere. Once again click on the circle tool or F5 on your keyboard. Draw an ellipse at the bottom of your sphere. Select the black color from the color palette. Now click the select and and transform object tool or F1 on keyboard. I will move this ellipse to show you that it overlap our sphere. With the ellipse selected, we are going to move it behind our sphere. Go to object menu at the top and select lower or page down on the keyboard. Now it's behind the sphere. Reposition and resize your ellipse below the sphere. Now go to the edit object color command bar at the right of the canvas. This will open the object attributes tab. Hover your mouse over the opacity bar and your mouse pointer will turn into an up arrow. Click left mouse button and drag slider to change value. Change the opacity to 50%. Then select the blur effect to 10%. Once you are happy with the result, do final adjustment to the shadow position. Keep in mind the shadow should show where the light source direction. Both the sphere and shadow should show same light direction. Left click and drag to select both object. Right click on the mouse button and select group from the pop up menu. Now you can move the sphere as a single object. There you have it your first 3D sphere. To save your hard work go to file and select save or control S. Select your file location and click save. To export your masterpiece. Go to file and click export PNG image. The export PNG image tab open on the right of the canvas. Click export as button to save your file and location. Then click export button. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please give a like below. 
please subscribe to my channel for more video and leave a comment.